Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today we've got something a little different. Today we are going to be doing the Cowboy Cookout at Yellowstone National Park. Stick around. So on a recent trip to Yellowstone, my family and I were looking for something, you know, unique to do. We had seen uh, all the geysers, we had seen all the hot springs, we had taken hikes here and there, and we had seen wildlife like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I've seen enough bison to last me a lifetime. So we signed up to go on the Old West Dinner Cookout. What it is, is it leaves from um, the Tower Roosevelt area. If you're not familiar, that's in sort of the north central, northeastern area of Yellowstone. So right down the road from the Roosevelt Lodge is the uh, corral where they keep all the horses um, and where they have all the covered wagons and things like that. This is the meeting place for this Old West Cookout. There's three ways that you can get to the cookout. Um, you can go on a two hour horseback ride, you can go on a one hour horseback ride, or you can take the covered wagon ride like I did. When you get there, you all kind of sit on these, you know, wooden log benches and you sort of get a, a little introduction as to what's going to happen with this dinner. There's a cowboy there, he explains to you a little bit about the history of, um, of Yellowstone. He, you know, tells you a couple jokes, gets you guys kind of ready for it while all the uh, other um, diners are loading up on their horses, those that are taking the one hour horse ride. Um, after he gets us all kind of, you know, organized and situated, they call you by groups. There's basically anywhere from six to 10 wagons, depending on how many um, people are dining that evening. And they will tell you a number. You're in wagon number six, you're in wagon number two, so on and so forth. Uh, we happen to be in wagon number six, my wife and I and my two kids. When we got there, we were greeted by our uh, handler and uh, the two horses that will be pulling us. Their names were uh, Dan and Dave. Uh, Dan was on the right side in this picture, Dave's on the left side. Yeah, so you get on the wagon and it takes about, you know, a half hour, maybe 45 minutes to uh, go through some, some sagebrush flats um, and go through a valley until you get to the area where the cookout is. Really, really fun. Along the way, you can see all sorts of uh, wildlife. It's great because it's in the evening and a lot of the wildlife's coming out. The temperatures are a little bit cooler. On our trip, we saw um, buffalo. We saw a pack of coyote pups. We saw some pronghorns. We saw some yellow belly marmots. Those were fun. Um, and we also saw a ton of ground squirrels. As you go through, you kind of meander through this valley um, into this opening. It's kind of nestled in the hills where they have the cookout. Now, this is not a cookout where it's just like, you know, a big bonfire going and they're cooking food over top of it. They actually have structures built on site um, for the cookout. When I got there, the first thing that struck me is that these cowboys were cooking my dinner using propane, which was kind of funny. Um, but I understand why it's a little bit more efficient and, um, you know, they can probably get it up to heat a little quicker and so on and so forth. Uh, when you get off the wagon, there's sort of a drink station right there. They've got um, some hot chocolate, uh, water, lemonade, and uh, iced tea. Um, there was also um, once you get in line for your food, there was, um, you know, big metal tubs filled with some other carbonated beverages, some root beer, Diet Coke, and regular Coke, things like that. So once you get there, you kind of just hang out, look around. There are bathrooms. Uh, they have sort of, you know, vault or porta john bathrooms there. They're a little bit nicer than that. And then there's also a covered eating pavilion in case um, it starts raining while you're there for the cookout. So there is, you know, places to eat, but there's also picnic tables kind of just out in the open um, for you to dine on as well. So before they serve the dinner, because once you get there, it's not ready to go, you kind of have to mill around, check out the place. Um, they have a cowboy, same guy who gave us the briefing back at the uh, corral. He uh, breaks out his guitar and he starts, you know, singing to you, telling stories. It was really great. They also have another uh, ranch hand or cowboy who's making coffee over a big bonfire. Um, I don't drink coffee, but my wife tried it and she said it was really good. 
Um, so when they ring the dinner bell first time, everyone gets in line, lines up for their food. Uh, they have several different things as you walk through the line. Uh, coleslaw, potato salad, their own uh, Roosevelt baked beans. Um, they have this corn sort of uh, mixture. It's got some vegetables and things in it. Corn muffins, watermelon, and then for dessert they have uh, a fruit crisp. Uh, the day we were there, it was an apple crisp. And then at the very end of the line is where they have the steaks. Now, the guys who were cooking the steaks, according to um, the handler that was on our wagon with us, uh, she told us that they actually come out three hours or so before everyone else gets there in a big wagon with all the food and everything in it. And they kind of partially cook off most of the steaks beforehand. And then once you go up, they, you know, finish them. So all the steaks are cooked to about a rare, um, maybe a little less. And then when you go up, you say you want it medium, they slap it back on the grill, you know, keep it going until it gets up to the temperature you want and then give it to you. Was it the best steak I ever had? No. Was it all about the atmosphere and all about the fun? Yeah, it was really cool. And the sides are really great too. Um, the baked beans were really good. The coleslaw potatoes, out, all of that was great. The corn muffins were actually really delicious. So you grab your food and you head on back to your table and you kind of just chill out and eat, listen to the cowboys sing, look at the beautiful mountain landscape. Um, once the um, handlers and the, you know, the drivers have all had their food, they have a little time where you can go over and you can, uh, you know, pet the horses that pulled you. My uh, kids went over and met Dan and Dave, our horses. It was really nice. While we were there eating dinner, there was actually a black bear and um, her cubs kind of walking around the perimeter of this dining site. Um, in this picture here, you can see it doesn't look black, but according to the cowboys, there are a lot of black bears that are actually sort of a light brown. They call them a cinnamon bear. And this one they knew for a fact was a black bear. We also saw coyotes and things like that uh, wandering around in the distance. So once everyone's had their fill, they let, every, they let the um, people go through the line twice if you really want to. There was one guy sitting next to me who claims he ate four steaks. Good for him. Um, but once you have eaten your fill and all that, they kind of have everyone join around um, the campfire. They tell a couple of funny stories. Then they have like a little bit of a sing-along. Once all that's done, they get everyone sort of loaded back up in the wagon they came from, and then you take the half hour trip back there. Now on the trips out and back, you have, um, you know, the person who helped load you up onto the wagon is there telling you things, telling you things about the history of Yellowstone, telling you things about uh, um, the park itself. Like for instance, there used to be a uh, old hotel on the location of the uh, cookout. And that's the only reason that they were allowed to build those structures, the porta potties the pavilion, the cooking area. That's the only reason they were allowed to build that because there's a law in Yellowstone. You're not allowed to really build anything unless it's on the site of an existing building that you can you know, tear down and improve or maybe expand slightly. Overall, the food was good, um, but this isn't really about the food. This is about the experience. It's great fun uh, looking at the wildlife going on the covered wagon ride, the horses, the mountains. It was beautiful. It was probably my favorite part of our trip to Yellowstone. So if you're heading out there, make sure you check out the Old West um, Cookout, or some people call it the Cowboy Cookout. Some people might think it's a little pricey. For, for adults, it's uh, $63 last time I checked, and I think for kids um, three years old to 11, it was 50 bucks. But you're never going to get an experience like that anywhere else and it was totally worth it in my opinion as always thanks for watching make sure you follow me on social media i'm on twitter and instagram at dave's ohio barbecue make sure you subscribe to my channel press that little uh subscription button down there and then press the bell next to it that way you get notified whenever i make a new video i got a lot of videos coming out really soon thanks for watching i'll see you next time